Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3's story mode is very faithful to how the events played out in the anime, but there are some secret endings that you can activate by meeting certain requirements during battle. And I don't mean the obligatory yay I won victory line, but actual endings. One of these alternate endings can be found in the first battle of the Frieza saga. Nail in the coffin. Goku has just arrived on Namek and senses that his allies are in danger and quickly makes his way over to where the battle is taking place. Gohan and Krillin, along with Vegeta, have been facing off against the formidable Ginyu Force in the effort to stop Emperor Frieza from being granted his wish for immortality. With Raccoon making mince meat out of them, Goku arrives at the scene just in time. I can tell just by looking, you can't beat me. Even though the narration before the battle states that Goku needs to win this battle quietly, I think it actually is meant to say quickly as it's a, more of a hint at the win condition of this fight. When playing out the fight normally, Goku will defeat Raccoon and then Jace. But if the first phase of the fight drags out for too long, Nail will arrive to help Goku take on Raccoon. I am here to help. Piccolo? No, I am not the one called Piccolo. I am Nail. I think this is what the narration was supposed to be hinting at, but there was like a typo, so the hint doesn't make sense. After a fierce fight with Raccoon, Jace will finally show up, and he too is defeated by Nail. You sure are strong. Sometime, you and I should have a match. Yes, once peace returns to Namek. I'll be sure to do something about that. This may be considered to be a bad ending, as if Nail is having to step in to help Goku, he won't be able to stave off Frieza to allow Dende to escape and aid Krillin and Gohan in summoning Kuranga. But on the other hand, Frieza would probably end up killing Guru and the Dragon Balls would turn back to stone. So maybe everything would be okay. Apart from Yamcha, who would still be dead. And Tien. <coughs> and of course, Chiaotzu. And Piccolo. <coughs> Hey, but at least you unlock now. True lies. Round one of the Cell games is about to begin, and Goku has stepped up to be the first challenger. So it's you right off the bat, huh? I was hoping to save the most enjoyable for last. As to be expected, Cell in his perfect form is a formidable opponent. During this fight, there are two prompts that you can hit that will give you the upper hand. If done successfully, Goku will stand down from the battle and Gohan takes his place, with the rest of the events following the original timeline. However, if you were to fail the prompt event, Cell will then proceed to hit Goku with a powerful key blast, forcing Goku to forfeit. But instead of Gohan entering the ring, Hercule will be facing off against Cell. This fight is actually quite hard, since Hercule's basic attacks do nothing to Cell, and you have to rely pretty much entirely on landing your blast and ultimate attacks. It is doable, though I'm not sure how the timeline is affected by having Fat Boo come and beat Cell's ass. Hercule claims victory over Perfect Cell, and Earth is saved, and this time he doesn't even have to lie about it. Perhaps I let my guard down a bit much. I won! Well, I'm glad I left that camera running. He did it! Hercule has achieved a stunning win over Cell! Earth is saved! Although, this does mean that Gohan never achieves Super Saiyan 2, but this also means that Goku never dies, so everything will probably be fine. Never underestimate your rivals. Goku and the others have infiltrated Barbadi's spaceship to put a stop to his evil plans to resurrect Majin Buu. During the fight with Barbadi's underlings, Vegeta was consumed with the need to fight Goku and purposely let himself succumb to Barbadi's influence, turning him into Majin Vegeta. The showdown between Goku and Vegeta is a tough one. Everyone's going to be killed! Everyone! Shut up, shut up! I sold a vomity to wipe out my weakness! It's none of my concern what happens to anyone! Normally when playing through the fight, if you hit the prompts and hold off Vegeta, they will eventually both agree to cut the battle short. Fight! To achieve the alternate ending, you will need to defeat Vegeta without triggering any of the prompts. The fight does not end after Vegeta's defeat, as Deborah is quick to arrive on the battlefield. Time to show you the might of the king of the demon world. 
thankfully the game does give you back some of your health and this phase of the fight actually turns out to be easier than the first. Since the fight does rage on a bit, Goku and the others are still unable to stop Barbity from awakening Majin Buu from his long slumber. I am going to deal with Majin Buu. This does mean that Vegeta never makes his heroic sacrifice and never goes to hell, which means that he wouldn't be there to help Goku to fight off Janimba. Of course Vegeta could always forever sleep himself or something. This timeline is getting really dark. The films aren't canon anyway. All is well that is... well. Hello to the new hero. Majin Buu has finally awakened thanks to energy gathered from Goku and Vegeta's fight. With Goku knocked out, Vegeta is the only one that stands a chance at defeating Buu. I'm not going to hell by myself. I'm taking you with me. Like many of the other fights featured in Dragon History, there will be several prompts that will show up during this battle. If you are to activate the prompts as they appear, the fight will conclude with Vegeta making the ultimate sacrifice by performing the final explosion on Majin Buu. But as we all know, this sacrifice ended up being in vain, as it was not enough to eliminate Majin Buu. Well, what if Vegeta was strong enough to take out Majin Buu once and for all? To achieve this alternate ending, you must play out the fight and ignore all of the prompts, except for the first one. Even though Vegeta is completely outmatched by the pink blob, he is able to pull through and defeat Majin Buu without having to sacrifice his life. But the battle is still not over, as once Buu is down, Barbadi will arrive enraged as all of his hard work in resurrecting Buu has gone to waste. No! Majin Buu is dead! Without him, I'll just have to use my magic! Huh. So there's another freak to deal with! Though Barbadi is no fighter, and Vegeta dispatches him easily, and thus puts an end to the threat. <laughs> Good thing he was so weak! I actually really like the idea of this ending. Vegeta gets to redeem himself and finally becomes the true hero of the story. It has a nice art to it, plus it skips over a lot of the bullshit that happens later on in the Boo Saga. Team Husband and Wife King Piccolo has been revived and has killed many of Goku's friends. Goku heads to King Castle to avenge his friends and save Earth. In the original timeline, Goku struggles against the powerful King Piccolo, but is eventually able to kill him with one final powerful attack. I'll put everything I've got into this place. Just like in the Vegeta vs Majin Buu fight, you will need to activate the first prompt while ignoring the rest. Goku is able to defeat King Piccolo in this altered event, but almost instantly after his father has fallen, Tambourine appears. Hey! Uh, you're still alive? <laughs> the Demon King is dead, and soon that brat will be too. Once that kid is gone, the world will be mine. Darn it! If I wasn't so worn out, I could beat him easily. For this next phase of the fight, Kid Chi Chi will be taking charge. Get away from my fiance! What? Just another brat? I'll take care of you! Just come and try it, girly. I won't go easy on you, though. <laughs> she isn't as skilled a warrior as Goku, but she still puts up a good fight, and with a little bit of help from her future husband... <laughs> Tambourine is defeated. This alternate ending doesn't really change much from the original timeline, apart from Tambourine somehow still being alive at this point during the story. My green tambourine. It is nice for Goku and Chi Chi to have a bit more interactions to establish their relationship. What is a bit odd about this alternate ending is that it isn't actually how you unlock Kid Chi Chi as a character. She is only unlocked through Black Star Shenron. Masters. <coughs> The Z Fighters have been driven into a corner by Broly's fierce attack. Gohan, Piccolo, Trunks and even Vegeta entrust their power to Goku in the hopes that he will be able to put a stop to the legendary Super Saiyan. When playing this fight out normally, Goku is able to defeat Broly, but if the battle is dragged out and Goku takes too much damage, he will be unable to finish him off. <laughs> you won't beat me by borrowing energy from insects! Luckily his friend and former mentor steps in to save the day. 
This is quite a battle, Goku. Hey, Gramps. Master Roshi will be in his max power form, not to be confused with max power mode. Because he is unable to fly, he is a bit limited when it comes to movement, and almost no character can match legendary Super Saiyan Broly's brute strength. However, the old master is able to overcome the Saiyan giant in the ultimate underdog fight. I won't lose to any young Gripper's number! Huh? He won? No way! What a great way to let this old master shine and save the day like he once did many years ago. Granddaughter Pan Goku and the others return to Earth triumphant, having gathered the Black Star Dragon Ball scattered through space. However, Baby has made his way to Earth too, and has taken control of Vegeta's body. It is now up to Goku and Pan to take him out. The fight against Baby is a long one, and when all hope seems lost, Goku discovers some hidden power and transforms into the fan favourite Super Saiyan 4. With his new power, Goku is able to destroy Baby, even after he turned into a golden great ape. At least this is how the events are supposed to unfold. To get the alternate ending, you need to at least make it to the point where Goku transforms into Super Saiyan 4. Once in this form, you just have to lose to Baby, and then Pan will step in to save her grandfather. Hmm. Is this the power of your new form? You're wasting my time! Grandpa! Well, it seems there's another little monkey. Don't worry, I'll come for you next. The amount of health that Baby has left before Goku falls in battle will be his remaining health for when you take control of Pan. So depending on how well you were doing in the previous phase, you can make this fight either really easy or really hard. Pan, even though she has not even achieved Super Saiyan, is still able to defeat Baby, even when Super Saiyan 4 could not. How's that for power scaling? <laughs> At least this makes GT Pan seem more competent. She was so bloody annoying in Dragon Ball GT. Dragon Ball Super Pan is just so much better. Okay, let's end this video before it turns into a Dragon Ball Super rant.